This is Aaron Donald. What up, Aaron? And this is Jamar Chase. You see that big blue thing back there? Don't me that. Don't do me that. That's an insult. <laughs> They're just two of the many players that make Joe Burrow's dream football team. Our objective today is to fill the rest of this empty Madden team full of players that Joe Burrow acknowledges or talks about in these videos. If this team fails to achieve a 90 overall, I will be giving away a jersey of any player that you see in this video. I mean, it could literally be the guy that Joe Burrow is talking about right now. Run faster, Sam. Go. Get there. <laughs> Sam Hubbard. He's referring to this past play playoffs where Sam Hubbard returned a defensive touchdown from their own goal line all the way for a touchdown. 94 overall Sam Hubbard. For some reason this is a left guard not a uh, defensive end that he usually is. With adding Sam Hubbard to the team that has just knocked off one of today's many challenges. Add a current teammate of Joe Burrow. The rest of this list includes adding a college teammate, adding a Super Bowl champion, and adding an MVP award winner. Let's just say we would be crossing off one of these challenges fairly quickly. Justin Jefferson's pretty good huh? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Jettas. Stephen Core in college was uh, pretty solid. <laughs> oh! I mean, the, yeah, it was an incredible play, but I wouldn't say it surprised me. Joe Burrow already paying homage to his former college teammates. 98 overall Justin Jefferson. Oh, the team of the year cards are so sick. Without further ado, let's add Justin Jefferson to the team. And opposite of Justin Jefferson, we have another college teammate of Joe Burrow. 91 overall Terrace Marshall for 20,000 coins. Well, you could say Joe Burrow is going to love his two new wide receiver additions and Terrace Marshall and Justin Jefferson. And just like that, we have crossed off another challenge in adding a college teammate. But with already adding three offensive players, it was time to look on the opposite side of the ball. And they're very explosive off the ball there. You can tell that they're they're well coached. Could be respecting the Titans. What do you know about Mike Brable? I mean, he was one of my favorite players growing up. Oh! He played both sides of the ball, so that was always fun to see when I was young. Mike Brable? And then he's been... A great coach. And lucky for us, Mike Vrabel had one of the best cards in the game. 98 overall Mike Vrabel Ultimate Legend. Oh yes, 98 overall for 500,000 coins. I'm going to scoop him up 100% because I know Joey B would want him on his dream team. And we wouldn't be done just yet with Mike Vrabel. Wait, they have a tight end Mike Vrabel? Hey, we could use this 100%. Who makes the rules around here? I do. I make the rules here. And just like that, we get to upgrade two positions with Mike Vrabel. And even though Mike Vrabel was a tight end, I put him at fullback because I knew we were going to get a godly tight end tight end coming up. It's going to be Joe Burrow again. I mean, he's going to decimate the Baltimore Ravens defense. The, the Baltimore Ravens, they can sign whoever they want for $100 million. It's not going to stop Joe Burrow. Oh, Joe Burrow. Oh, I love this Gronk. Joe Burrow is going to decimate your secondary. And I was so excited to add Rob Gronkowski to the team until I realized, wait, Gronk doesn't have a card in this game? How do you not have a card in this game? How is EA not giving him a card in this game? But then I realized he had this card. Okay. Okay, you know what? Rob Gronkowski is a card that you have to grind for in this game. And I don't grind this game, so he's only going to be an 82 overall. We could have had a 98 overall Gronk. But nope, instead we're going to have an 82 overall tight end. Okay. And just like that, Gronk completes another challenge in adding a Super Bowl champion. He's actually got a couple of them, by the way. And now with the offense being halfway complete, it was time for me to focus my attention to the defensive side of the ball. I decided to add these three studs to the team. Denzel's one of the best two corners in the league. Denzel Ward? Okay. Okay. Sauce Gardner, the other one. He's up there. <laughs> oh, Sauce and Denzel. Patrick Sertan's good. Yeah, I think he's the I think he's the best. Yeah, he's tough. Ooh, and Patrick Sertain getting some love. Okay, Sauce Gardner, what are we looking at? We're not getting the 78 overall. We're not getting the 90 overall. We're not getting the 97 overall. We're getting the 98 overall team of the year card. Oh, yes, sir. We love to see it's 98 overall Sauce Gardner. Absolutely diminishing my wallet, but it's okay. Sauce Gardner, you're gonna be our cornerback number one. But we wouldn't stop just there. Denzel Ward, 95 over. Overall zero chill champion. Ooh, he has a 95 overall in May. That's a little odd, but I will take it nonetheless. Pretty solid card. And Zell Ward, you will be playing the slots for us, sir. Because we still had another godly card to add. Patrick Sertain, come here, sir. He also has a team of the year card. 98 overall PS2. Oh, dude, I love the team of the year promo. It has come in clutch so many times for these videos. Every good player just has a team of the year card. It is amazing. Patrick Sertain you will now be opposite of Sauce Gardner, another team of the year card. And with adding these three stud corners, we would only have 2.6 million coins left. It would make things a bit challenging. Okay, we only have 2.6 million coins. I still need a quarterback, a halfback, my whole offensive line. Hopefully Joe Burrow doesn't name too many good players. Yeah, no, I was wrong. He showed up 
in Jamar's uniform, Ellis uniform today. Talk about this bond and how special this is. Oh God. He's one of my best friends. We hang out all the time. I'm so fortunate to be able to play with this guy. He's one of the great all time greats. <laughs> Joey B and Jamar. I'm very fortunate to be able to play with him every day. This was the battle of who that, who day today, but you guys are the ones who got the- Oh yeah, I remember this game, dude. That's so unfortunate. As a Saints fan and an LSU fan, this game was so hard to watch. With speaking of LSU, we had to add Joe Burrow's best friend. 98 overall Jamar Chase. You guessed it, another team of the year card. And this card is one of the best in the game, man. Base 98 speed, just phenomenal stats all across the board. I mean, it's Jamar Chase. What do you expect he should have one of the best cards in the game but i was just talking about how i don't want to spend this many coins to upgrade the team and then joe burrow gives me jamar chase so i guess i have no choice jamar chase you'll once again be opposite of justin jefferson and will be our wide receiver too but no Now have our new quarterback in Lamar Jackson. And with adding Lamar Jackson, has completed all the many challenges in adding a MVP award winner. Now all we have to do is surpass a 90 overall and yes, my sir. challenges will be yes, completed. Sir. And we wouldn't be done just yet adding Baltimore Ravens players. They're, they're a really good defense. We try to take away our, our bread and butter stuff and they're, they're pretty good at it. More Baltimore Ravens praise. And although Joe Burrow didn't necessarily pick a certain player out of the Baltimore Ravens defense, it gave me the opportunity to pick a player. Okay, yeah, we're going with one of the best Best defensive rookies this past year. Kyle okay, Hamilton, 96 okay. overall. This game changer card is sick. 96 overall, Kyle Hamilton. 160,000 coins, I will take that. And we now have a strong safety in Kyle Hamilton. And Joe Burrow wouldn't be done just yet giving his respects to his divisional rival. We now round out our safety position with Minka at the free safety. And with adding all of these defensive players recently, it was time to head back to the offensive side of the ball. Joe Burrow gave some awesome gifts for Christmas. Bengals offensive lineman Ted Karras was asked what Joe Burrow gifted to the offensive line for Christmas. He gave all the offensive linemen a cruise in the offseason, which is probably the best gift given out this year. Wow. Okay, now we are on a mission to find all of the Bengals offensive linemen. And quickly, I would find one Ted Karras 97 overall wildcard Wednesday card. Okay, bet. I would find another one. Alex Kappa 95 right guard. Okay, 100k. I would find another one. Like, okay, Collins, right tackle. Okay. And I would be cheating a little bit with this final one. Okay. Anthony Munoz technically was not sent on a cruise by Joe Burrow because he's not in the team anymore. But he's a Bengals legend. And I know Joe Burrow would love to have this man on his dream team. So we're going to scoop him up. And yes, that is his best card in the auction house. I know it sucks. But regardless, our whole offensive line would now be filled out. Okay. Our whole offensive line is finished. And we are now just missing one position for the offense. And Joe Burrow would give you an alley oop with this selection. I don't know what team we're playing. Team that's been to this, this game. In the last five seasons. In case you didn't know, he's talking about the Chiefs. To me, they're still a team to beat. We know it's going to be tough. We know it's going to be going to be hard fought. And the kind of players that they have on that side. We know the kind of players they have on that side. Well, we know that the Chiefs have Joe Burrow's college starting running back, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, baby. This man was an absolute god in college with Joe Burrow in his final season, and we are going to play him 100% on Joe Burrow's dream team. Okay, we got to get to work on defense. Maybe you can say these next two players on defense would help us out a little bit. Hey, Vaughn. Hey, Vaughn. Hey, Vaughn. Joe, nice to meet you, brother. 
Woo! I like how normal and civilized Joe is to Von Miller, even though he's on the other team in the Super Bowl. Okay, Von Miller, let's add you to the team. Yeah, this card is gonna be godly. This card is gonna help the team out a ton. So Von Miller, you will now be the starting right end for Joe Burrow's dream team. What up, Aaron? <laughs> it's just such a subtle, hey, Aaron. Hey, Vaughn. 96 overall, Aaron Donald. This man single-handedly lost the Bengals to Super Bowl, man. He made that one game-winning play to unfortunately stop Joe Burrow from winning his first Super Bowl. But it's okay. We'll get one eventually. Aaron Donald will now be our defensive tackle number one. Joe Burrow named the two NFL teams he rooted for growing up. Burrow is an Ohio native, but he did not grow up rooting for the Bengals. He revealed that he grew up rooting for two NFL franchises, the Cleveland Browns and New Orleans Saints. So I get to make a couple decisions here. Our first player would be to no surprise. Yeah, Cameron Jordan. If you grew up watching the New Orleans Saints like I did, Joe Burrow, then you know Cam Jordan. Jordan is a stud and a legend. So we're going to pick up 93 overall Cam Jordan. And he's going to be our starting left end because we desperately needed one. And our next player would be a Cleveland Brown. Oh yeah, Joe Burrow definitely grew up watching Paul Kruger, right? This is that 2014 flashback team that we card. So Joe Burrow was definitely tuning in to these games. And he's going to be our middle linebacker number one. Okay, so now the team is missing two players. So we would end up replacing the empty slots with silvers. But it wouldn't matter if we would still stay above a 90 overall. 92 overall dream team despite adding two silvers at the end i think this is definitely one of the best dream teams we have done so far i mean a 92 overall team but this team is sick though joe burrow did pick a really solid team and a player who was on this dream team was justin jefferson and we ended up building his dream team in a separate video so if you want to see that click right here because that one was a banger just like this one i'm sure if you enjoyed this video you'll definitely love this video with justin jefferson